Welcome to the programme, uh, Liam Now. Liam Mackay is the regional BBC manager for uh, Switchover Helping Hand Scheme. Welcome to the programme. Good morning. Oh, great to be on the show, Phil. Thanks for having me on. Hi. Right, now we're talking about, um, in particular, the Helping Hand Scheme. Uh, first of all, when does the switchover happen then, uh, Liam? The, the switchover happens in the London TV region on the 4th of April, and that is when BBC Two moves from analogue to digital. And, and then again, the, se- uh, the second date is the 18th of April, and that is when all television channels move from analogue to digital. Right. And um, j- just to clarify, I'm sure we'll, we'll go into a bit more detail in the moment about it, but um, just to clarify, if we're already watching on, say, Sky um, with a dish, or if we're watching on the uh, the digital aerial, I think it's called Freeview, then do we actually need to do anything here? Well, uh, if you're watching through a satellite or you're watching a cable service, then you don't have to do anything. If, however, you are watching through an aerial, then you will have to do something because if it's if you're watching through Freeview, you'll need to retune on both of those dates, the fourth and the eighteenth. Or if you're just watching channels one to five, then you'll need to get an, a, a service such as Freeview in order to get uh, a television reception uh, after the switchover. All right. Now, what is the help scheme? Then explain it to us because it's it's not for everybody. It's uh, I believe for people that are over seventy five and uh, also for the disabled. Um, have I got it right? Yeah, you're you're right in saying that the, the BBC switchover help scheme uh, is there for people. You're right in saying people aged 75 and over, people on certain disability benefits, people who have been in care homes for six months or more, or people who are registered blind and part or partially sighted. And, and what it's there to do is to provide a peace of mind for eligible people, because uh, if they need the service, they can give us a call on, on our number, which is 0800 487654, and they can arrange for one of our, our CRB check installers to go out to their house, install a digibox for them on, on one of their televisions in, in their house, uh, explain to them how to use the, the digi box. They also do an aerial check and upgrade if necessary. And also a great thing is, is part of the package, they also get 12 months aftercare as well. So if, the, if you have any uh, issues or problems uh, in, in, a, in a year period after the installation, you can call up and someone can come out and, and, and sort out the situation for you. So yeah, real sort of peace of mind is at this. The, That's the really great. Service. Yeah. And what do they do for other televisions in the house then? They've got to pay somebody to come in and sort it out for them, have they? Well, it is, it is one television uh, per household. And a lot of things we're hearing when we're out, out in the ground and, and meeting people is that a lot of people have like, their main set, as, you know, can be Freeview or Sky, but the, the, there are people who have uh, just channels one to five on the, the, the television set in their bedroom. And we can absolutely, if you're eligible, we can absolutely convert that television. So I think one of the things we, we, we urge people is to think about all the televisions in, in your household because if you're eligible, we can help you uh, switch over. But it, you're, you're right in saying um, if, if people want some more advice on, on what to do and they want some information on uh, uh, installers in their local area, they can go onto the Digital UK website, which is www.digitaluk.co.uk, and they can get all that sort of information there. Right, so this is run by the BBC. The switch over helps you, yeah. And we've, we've also said who is eligible. Now, um, I, I guess people might still be uncertain, though. Is there a place where they can find out if they're eligible? If they could check, you know, just to make sure they are, uh, or maybe, you know, obviously check they might not be. Um, well, what we've done is that in the London television region, there are 1.4 million people who are eligible for the switchover help scheme. Uh, and what we've been doing over the past few months is that we've uh, been writing to everybody who is eligible, saying uh, you can uh, get the help scheme if, if you need it, and, and please let us know. But if you think uh, you, you, you may have uh, the letter's not got to you, you you've misplaced the letter, or, or whatever it might be, Again, you can give us a call on, on the number, which is 0800 407654, or um, go onto our website, which is www.helpscheme.co.uk, uh, and, and you, can, you can make an inquiries uh, there. 
OK, Liam, we, we've said exactly what sort of uh, thing the scheme will do for people. Now, um, I, I guess people will still be asking things like, um, do they have to throw their old telly away because it's not digital? What, what's the, the score with that? I mean, the, the, some people have got tellies going back 25 years. Are they now completely to go in the bin, are they? No, no, I mean, that's one of the key messages uh, throughout the switchover uh, campaign, is that if your television works, it will still work post uh, a switchover, and you don't need to go to any ec- extra expense. Uh, it, it, it's, it's actually unnecessary. And and, like, and a side here is that actually the oldest television that we have converted is from 1936. So, uh, you know, there's there's hope for, for uh, other televisions, and, you know, if, <laughs> if it's... If they work well, uh, you know, you don't need to throw it out and it can be converted really simply. All right. And um, £40 is the average price, I believe, for a free view box. But is there anything cheaper out there? I mean, is, it, is there a choice? Well, there's, there's a couple of things to unpack here. Is that, um, for the switchover help scheme, which again is that, that service which I spoke of, when the, if you're eligible and the installer comes out and explains everything to you, installs it and the aerial check and the 12 months after care, that is available uh, for, for either £40 for the standard package or for free in, in some cases if you are eligible and also receive uh, some additional benefits. So that's the, the, the switchover help scheme. And actually what we do when we write to everybody, we let them know if, if we think they're eligible for the £40 package or for free. Now, in terms of uh, other people who, uh, who are maybe not eligible and they're wondering what to do with the television, you, you can, again, log on to our, our uh, site at Digital UK and get some information about uh, some products that are out there. But generally, in some high street stores, you can pick up a Digibox for £15, £20. But the important thing to look out for is uh, the Digital UK tick on the box. It's a pink tick on the box, and that means it's, it's been uh, they, they are uh, a partner with Digital UK and you, you're getting the right sort of equipment for the digital switchover. All right, tell us about choices of channels then. Well, yeah, I mean, that's a great thing about the, the switchover generally is that people are getting a much more reliable uh, sh- uh, service, a stronger signal. And obviously for some people who uh, are just watching channels 1 to 5 at the moment, after the switchover and you've got the digi box in there, you'll be watching around 40 channels or so. So yeah. there's much more choice. Um, uh, you know, so many more options for people uh, when they're watching television. Which I right. think it's a really good thing. And what about aerials? Let's go back to the, the sort of equipment again. I mean, um, people are going to be worried about whether they need to get a new aerial or not. I guess not necessarily, but some people might. Well, you don't need to get a new aerial. If, you, if you're getting a good reception at the moment, it's going to get even better uh, post-digital switchover. So uh, th- there's, there's no need to, uh, you know, uh, if some, someone comes knocking on your door uh, saying you need a new digital aerial, that, that, you know, it could well be a scam. You, you don't need, you don't need uh, a new aerial uh, because of the digital switchover. All right. I, I, I don't even think they call them digital aerials. I think they call them broadband aerials, don't they? Oh, I'm, I'm, I've not heard that, um, uh, that phrase before, but I, I, I've, I've heard digital aerial quite a few times. Band oh, about. All right. Now, what about um, uh, filling in forms? We all hate filling in forms, or most of us do. Is there a way of getting around that? Well, if you're eligible for the, for the switchover help scheme, I mean, please just give us a call. Uh, again, that number is 0800 408 7654. You can speak to, to one of our operators who will uh, talk you through the, the whole procedure and just make it as easy as possible for you. All right. And is there a way of um, identifying people as they come into our home, you know, from the scheme? Uh, do, do they carry uh, ID cards and uh, paperwork, etc.? I mean, I feel absolutely. I mean, it takes uh, security and, and, and safety of, of customers, you know, the, the paramount in, in importance. Uh, all of our installers are, are fully CRB checked. Uh, and also, um, what, what we can do when the customers call up the switchover help scheme, they can set a password, which the installer will quote back to them when they come to the appointment. And also, another thing, and I, I, I a great message for all the listeners out there is that we at the switchover help scheme, we never cold call. We only uh, come to an appointment, we've made an appointment with the customer. So, I mean, if, if anybody um, gets a knock on the door saying they're from the switchover help scheme and you've, you've not made an appointment with them, then they are not from the switchover help scheme. And uh, you can, you can uh, politely tell them they're not allowed to come in. Right, so... Um this uh, particular person I'm thinking of has heard that you have to retune these boxes. They're not technical. Um, what about you know getting help with retuning the boxes? Uh, well, you know you that know, they the, might have already. 
you know the great thing about the, the, the box that we provide with the switch over helps me is that it's a one button retune. So you literally just press a button on the remote control and again our installers will explain all this to you and then it retunes it for you. So it makes it really, really easy. But if you if you if the, the generally uh, there's some information out there on retuning by going to the Digital UK website, which again is uh, www.digitaluk.co.uk, and that will give you some sort of general information on on retuning your television. Or you can give them a call uh, for for some technical inquiries about retuning, and their number at uh, Digital UK is 08456 505050. Great. Now, videos are all connected to most of them. Uh, what's going to happen with the video recorder? Another complication. <laughs> well, um, digital, uh, video recorders will still work post the, 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 the switchover. Um, the, the, the one thing is, is that uh, video recorders are analog. Uh, you, you will only be able to record on the channel that you're watching. However, there, again, there's, there's, there's lots of products out there for, for the new uh, digital video recorders, which you know, act as almost like a computer memory because you, you can save so much on there. And again, uh, our, our colleagues at Digital UK have lots of impartial advice on, on the best products out there. All right, and DVD recorders, um, I presume, the same sort of thing? Or uh, Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, OK. And just remind us of the uh, free phone number then and uh, also give us the uh, website, Liam. Oh, absolutely. Um, so if uh, you think you're eligible for the switchover health scheme or indeed uh, you've received a letter and you'd like to make an appointment, uh, give us a call on 0800 or log on to www.helpscheme.co.uk and obviously we'll also be doing uh, road shows and events uh, out in the region so if you'd like to get information on, on when we'll be out there uh, please uh, give us an email at info at helpscheme.co.uk and, and obviously we'll be happy to tell you when we'll be out there and you can come along and, and get some information from us and I think a, a real sort of message to take away today from, from the interview is if even if you're not eligible for, for the switch over help scheme, if you do know someone in your, amongst your friends, a family or in your community who you think might be eligible, it'd be great if you can pass on the message and, and let them know because uh, we don't want anybody to be left without television after April and after the switchover. All right, absolutely. Thank you very much for joining me, uh, for Richardson on Radio Verulam. Liam McKay there. Thanks so much, Phil. Thank you very much. Cheers now.